Hematopoiesis is defined as the formation of blood. It is subdivided into fetal hematopoiesis and adult hematopoiesis. Formation of blood in fetus during pregnancy is different from the formation of blood after birth in adults. Let's talk about first the fetal hematopoiesis. But before that, just a quick recall about pregnancy. Pregnancy consists of first, second, and third trimesters. The first trimester consists of first to third month of pregnancy, while the second trimester consists of fourth to sixth month of pregnancy, and the third trimester consists of seventh to ninth month of pregnancy. Now, let's move on the three phases of fetal hematopoiesis. The first phase is the mesoblastic phase. The second phase is the hepatic phase. And the last phase is the medullary phase. These are the phases arranged chronologically. So let's have an in-depth discussion between the three phases. Mr. Robot will take now the discussion because my voice is hurting. First one is the mesoblastic phase. Mesoblastic phase starts at 19th day of gestation or pregnancy. Hematopoiesis or blood formation occurs in yolk sac and aorta gonad mesonephros of the fetus. The blood formation during this phase is called primitive hematopoiesis. What happens here is that cells from mesoderm migrate towards the center cavity of the yolk sac. It forms hemoglobin specifically Gower 1, Gower 2 and Portland, which supplies oxygen to the highly developing fetus. Some cells from mesoderm surrounds the yolk sac and later become blood vessels. These are called angioblast. Later on, definitive hematopoietic stem cells will form. Now, the second phase is the hepatic phase which starts at 5th to 7th gestational or pregnancy week. The major organ producing blood cell during this phase is the liver. The following are the observed cluster of cells. The start of definitive hematopoiesis in the liver means the decline of primitive hematopoiesis in yolk sac and AGM, until it ceases. The liver is at its peak of production during the second trimester or third month of fetal development. After six months, it slowly diminishes, until minimal activity one week to two weeks after birth. While in yolk sac the hemoglobin type are Gower 1, Gower 2 and Portland. Here, the major type is fetal hemoglobin and minute amount of adult hemoglobin. Other organs such as thymus which is the first fully developed organ in fetus, produces T-cell. While spleen and kidney produces B-cell. The last phase is the medullary phase. Starts at 5 months of pregnancy until adulthood. Hematopoietic stem cells and mesenchymal cells migrate towards the bone marrow. The mesenchymal cells later on develop into stromal cells like endothelial and reticular adventitial cells also called fibroblast. They support the formation of blood vessels. In medullary phase, the myeloid production is very active, until it reaches 3 is to 1 ratio of myeloid to erythroid meaning there are three times more production of myeloid than erythroid. That is why it is sometimes called myeloid phase. There is also detectable amount of erythropoietin, granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, and hemoglobin F and A. These are growth factor proteins that helps in production of blood cells. In medullary phase, there are also observable blood cells at different maturation stages. This graph represents the three phases. 